So today we are going to do some stretches, especially because we've been sitting at desks and computers and all of that fun junk, which can really make our hips, shoulders, necks, or so we are going to do some stretching today. Uh, place your feet on the floor. You can grab onto your thighs to help you roll all the way down, laying down, relax down here for a second. Rearrange if you need to because you do want to be able to stretch out your legs so you can kind of do a quick little check to make sure you have room. And then from here, feet are on the floor about hip width apart. Neutral spine. Lift one leg up towards the ceiling. We're going to bend the knee. Place basically like the heel on your thigh and lace the hands through. You can grab onto your thigh or your shin, whatever feels better for you. Pulling that, your heel closer in towards this hip is going to give you a little bit more of a stretch. If you want to, you can extend the leg. Some people like that. I'm not a huge fan, so I'm going to keep mine down. If you flex the foot, it's going to give you a little bit more of a stretch, which you can feel. And just breathe into it, relax the shoulders. If anything hurts, don't do it. Stretches shouldn't hurt. Yes, you'll get that, that feeling of, um, of stretching, <laughs> but you don't want the feeling of ow. If you're getting the feeling of ow, your body is telling you this is no bueno. From here, place the foot on the floor. We're going to take this leg up towards the ceiling, grab and gently pull it in towards you. Now, you can grab onto the thigh or the shin. Please avoid your knee because we want to keep that nice and safe. Relax the shoulders. Something I like to do here is just a little turn with my ankle. Your side, the bottom leg out. And get that nice good stretch. Really, I'm not doing much of pulling. It's pretty much just my arms. The weight of my arms are pulling that leg in towards me. I'm not stressing myself out. From here. Take your hands down long beside you. If they can't go, you know, you don't have much room, that's okay. You can also bend them. We're going to take this leg and we're going to lower it until it comes down nice and smooth. We're in control because we don't want to pull anything or hurt anything. You can keep this leg on the ground straight or you can bend it. You can also grab your thigh. Some people like to do that. Uh, and like I said before, pay attention to your body and what feels good for you. I have some lower back issues with this stretch. Um, I don't have any other lower back issues, but with this stretch for some reason I do. So I'm going to pay very close attention to make sure that I'm not feeling any pain. From here... I'm gonna roll back center. This is where I usually get some pain. So I'm gonna do it a little bit wonky and take my time with it to make sure I don't hurt myself. And bringing it back center, we're gonna place both feet on the floor again. Other leg lifts up, bend the knee, place the heel on your thigh, lace the hands through and gently pull it in towards you. Again, if you flex this foot, you're gonna get a little bit more of a stretch. Also pulling the heel in towards your hip. It's gonna be a little bit more of a stretch. Relax the shoulders. And just breathe into it. Feel like your back is melting into the floor. And you're releasing so that your hips can open up. So you're not fighting the stretch, you're letting yourself go with the stretch. Mm, feels good. Okay, place that foot on the floor. 
Lift the leg up and gently pull it in towards you. And you can do a little ankle circle. And go another way. Slide the bottom leg out, really enjoy the stretch. I like to press, I like to flex my bottom leg and press the heel into the floor, activating this leg, which helps protect it and also it's a nice little workout for this leg. And I am giving it a little bit of a pull, but it's mostly just the weight of my arms. leg up, place the arms down, and we're going to take it across. You can have it straight or bent. Try to keep those shoulders on the floor, and it may not go all the way down to the floor, and that's fine. And just breathing and enjoying it. foot on the floor slide it out so we have both legs long on the floor take your arms long up above your head have your feet about hip width apart arms about hip width apart and we're gonna reach long through the fingertips long through the toes as if you're in one of those old stretching torture devices and it's gonna rip you not actually rip you don't <laughs> just like it's a nice good stretch now take the left side of your body and only that side is being stretched really long. And now the right side of the body is being stretched really long, really, really, really long. Maybe you're even going to grow an inch or two. <laughs> and then stretch really long through both hands and feet. Relax. Take a deep breath in as you lift the arms. Exhale, look for your belly button, peel the spine. We're gonna roll up. Feel free to use a hand or two on the floor and reach out over your toes with an exhale. I want you to stay up above your feet, lifting your belly button. And we're gonna roll only about halfway and hold it here. And then coming back up. And now you can relax into it and enjoy that nice stretch. You can either flex your feet or point the toes, whatever feels better for you. Feel, watch yourself. It's kind of like creating space. I like to, when I stretch, I like to think that I'm creating space in my joints and giving a little bit of air in between my, my bones so that they're not squished up against each other. Just my own personal visual. You can kind of find whatever visual works for you. And we're going to come on up. So from here, we're going to go on to all fours real quick. Place one foot forward so that you are on one knee. We're going to give a little lean forward. And lift the back leg. If you want, you can take a hand down to the floor. It will make it harder to grab that back leg. And this is really nice for opening up the hamstrings, especially after sitting all day long. And then we're going to take it back center. Whoa! <laughs> Hopefully more controlled than I am. My bad. And we're gonna lean into it, lift that back leg, and enjoy this nice stretch here. So I want you to always feel after that like you're in control. So you you are activating the core to help you stay balanced. And you're not just falling into the stretch because sometimes if we just fall into the stretch, we can overstretch and hurt ourselves. Oh gosh. 
<laughs> As I'm talking about it, I'm having such a hard time balancing. Okay, go ahead and release that. Come back up. Real quick, we're going to do a couple of neck things. Neck and shoulders. Let's do a little shoulder roll. Think about sitting up nice and tall. Shoulder roll going the other way. Great. Bring it center. I want you to squeeze your arms up, your shoulders up towards your ears, and then pull them down towards the ground. From here, look one way, bring it back center. Look the other way, and bring it center again. And last one. Bring it center, tilt to a side, roll the head around and back center, same way. Back center, other way, and roll around. Sitting up nice and tall before you roll around. Sitting up nice and tall. Now, think about that chin. Pretend like you have a crayon on your chin. Crayon on your chin. And you're gonna draw a figure eight with your chin. back center. Now we're going to take our chin and we're going to draw a little banana or a smiley face. Make a really big smiley face. Make a teeny itsy bitsy baby smiley face. Bring it back center, sit up nice and tall, and that's a nice little stretch after sitting at the computer all day.